Hey guys, quick screencast to demonstrate how in Excel you can bring in text data that's not already part of a spreadsheet. Now one of the most common ways to provide data that's in a tabular format, in other words rows and columns and fields, is to create a CSV file or comma separated values. Now a CSV file looks something like this. We have values separated by commas and each record is on a separate row. So for instance in this example data we have student ID separated by a comma from their participation grade separated by a comma from project one's grade and so on. On the next row we have the first student their grade separated by the next grade separated by the next grade and so on for a total of 29 students, with one row for the header, making it a total of 30 rows. So bringing this into Excel is fairly easy. You can open the CSV file by Excel using the file open option, or we can copy and paste that data directly into Excel. Now the problem is it puts all the data into one cell or one column in column A. In this case, we would then use the data tab to convert text to columns. So we'll click text to columns after highlighting the column that we want to separate. The text to column wizard that pops up helps you convert raw text into rows and columns. It gives you an example of how you can separate the data, delimited or fixed width, in this case, our data is separated by commas, so we'll choose delimited. We'll click next. We'll choose the comma as the option to separate the fields with. We'll unselect the other options and click next. Lastly, we'll let Excel figure out what type of data is in each column. We'll complete it by clicking finish. And you'll notice that all the data has now been separated out.